One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. Five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, rock. Nine, ten, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, rock. We're gonna rock around the clock tonight. But you should ride, ride, so join me home. We'll have some fun when the clock strikes one. We're gonna rock around the clock tonight. We're gonna rock, rock, rock till broad daylight. We're gonna rock, we're gonna rock around the clock tonight. When the clock strikes two, three, and four. So you're prepared to tell About the drive-in I love the drive-in If the windows get fogged You'll have to take a breath Down at the drive-in Or the cat pressing white It'll scare you both to death Down at the drive-in A big buttered popcorn And an extra large Coke A few chili dogs And man, I'm going broke Down at the drive-in yeah, at the drive-in. If you say you watch the movie, you're a couple of liars. And remember, only you can prevent forest fires. Down at the drive-in. I love the drive-in. Down at the drive-in.
looks astounding. Time is fleeting. Madness takes its toll. But listen closely. Not for very much longer. I've got to keep control. Just a jump to the left. And then a step to the right. With your hands on your hips. You bring your knees in tight. Then it's the velvet glass. And then it does an insane. Let's do the time bomb again. Let's do the time bomb again. It's a dream. So you can't see me, no, not at all, in another dimension, with voyeuristic intention, well secluded, I see all, with a bit of a mind flip, you're into the time slip, and nothing can ever be the same, you're spaced out on sensation, like you're under Welcome on the PDQ or telephone line, Carol Epstein from Epstein Real Estate. Good morning, Carol. Hi, George. Hi, Rick. This is kind of exciting. Yeah. Really, really It brings exciting. back my younger days. I think, you know, so many people have so many different memories of, uh, of going to the drive-in. So, um, and, and I've been hearing about them for a while, so I, but I haven't been able to say anything. So mm-hmm. 
it was really fun to be able to announce it today, finally. Uh, I don't know, Rick, you're younger, so I don't know if you ever went to the Bangor Drive-In. I did I a re- number of times. I, went, I, I, I remember once. I grew up more in Belfast, so I remember going to the Belfast Drive-In, and that was... You could do it two days a week when the fog wasn't in. Ex- yeah, <laughs> you are absolutely right. I remember that drive-in. But not the problem here in, in, in Bangor. No, it was it was a fun night out. It was, you'd take the kids, or sometimes it, if it was... Put them in the trunk and put, sneak them in, because no. it cost a lot. But that, well, that, I, I, I've heard a lot of that. But that won't be the case with the Bangor Drive-In that's going to reopen, will it, Carol? That's right. There's no more need to hide in the trunk because uh, you now pay by the carload. Um, so you can uh, you can take all your friends and uh, people bring um, lawn chairs and we try to we try to park the cars so that there's a space between them so people can can sit with lawn tra- lawn chairs and there's a concession and and picnic tables, so it's very much an outdoor experience. This is a fairly major investment. We're, we're, <laughs> we're going for it here. Um, it'll, it's a twin drive-in, so we have two screens. The screens we're going to repair, and they're actually in amazing condition. They're all aluminum um, with steel frames. But um, n- new digital projection, um, n- new sound transmission that will be via, via your FM radio, a brand new concession and bathroom facility that will service both both drive-ins. There will be about 250 um, parking spots for cars in, in the front and about 160 in the back. So it will be over 400 cars. Carol Epstein's with us on the phone and Epstein Commercial Real Estate making the announcement that they're reopening the Bangor Drive-In this summer. You know, we're we're dependent on weather. We're dependent on you know people wanting to come and buy popcorn. We know they got to spend at that concession. <laughs> uh-huh. They got to eat. Yeah. Going to the drive-ins are really experiential kind of experience. You're out in the outdoors, and all these different people are there, and. There's fun things to do, and um, I, I think people will embrace it. Yeah, it'll be a it'll be a, a, a very modern operation. Um, it'll look as it did in the fifties. Everybody will come out in in all kinds of vehicles. That's it'll true. be fun. Carol Epstein, a partner with uh, Cinema Bangor LLC, with the exciting news that the Bangor Drive-In is going to reopen July first. That's the target date. Carol, thank you so much for being a part of our show. We look forward to the Drive-In coming back. Thank you both. This was fun. Thanks. The popcorn can't be beat. The sparkling drinks are just dandy. The chocolate bars and the candy. So let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat.